welcome back. You know I have to wait until that, that, yeah, that comes through before I speak. So, welcome back. We are us and this, this is Damon X Machina. I'm not going to hold you guys up. I want to get into this as much as you do, so let's go on ahead. <sighs> for a second there, I was concerned that we were having some technical difficulties for whatever reason. The low times between leaving the main menu and entering the game was longer than it had any reason to be. I don't know why, but it, the only thing I can think of is it's either OBS or... And this is just, this is just me reaching. It could be because I've been playing for maybe an hour now, trying to get back into the groove of things. I've built some things from the factory division. Got some pretty sweet weapons out of it. None of them I really like. But it's what we have now. Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. At this time, three unidentified arsenals have been detected in Sky Union's territory. Your objective is to confirm their identities. If the arsenals are deemed hostile, you are authorized to eliminate them. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. You know, I heard about those Sky Union prototypes that got stolen. I wonder if this is somehow connected to that. No known connection exists. Innocence accepts this mission. Hey, are you sure you want to accept this all willy-nilly? We don't even know who we're dealing with here. We're fighting arsenals. That's good enough for me. We have a lot of experience on that front. There's no way I'd ever lose a fight against an arsenal. Sure, but still. This war won't end until we've destroyed all the immortals, right? We gotta do what needs to be done. You really think this war is gonna end someday? Of course. And when it does, I'm gonna buy a small island for me and my siblings to live on. That's why I gotta save up all the credits I can. I didn't know you had a dream like that. I've forgotten what it was like to have one. It's not a dream, it's a plan. Alright. Bullet Works will take this mission too. Mission acceptance confirmed. I'm not saying your story got to me or anything, Chill. I just... well... I remembered why I became a mercenary. Why's that? That... can wait. I'll tell you someday, though. Once I feel like I'm good enough. Well, I look forward to hearing it, so try not to die before then. Well, this got dark all of a sudden. Alright, I'm gonna start prepping my arsenal. Don't take too long, or the enemy's gonna bail on us. See you at the mission area. Approach complete. You have arrived at the mission area. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle levels are high. Radar will not be affected, but units with stealth capabilities will be difficult to identify. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. You see him? There should be three unidentified arsenals in the area. Wait a minute. Four. Cross-reference the optical sensor imagery with Sky Union's stolen prototypes. No match found. Huh? What the? I think that arsenal belongs to the Five Hells. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's Savior's arsenal. The unit's stealth capabilities are preventing identification. Yep, that gaudy rig is definitely his. Four, open a channel. Savior, what are you doing here? You and your crew are showing up on my console as unidentified units. Ugh. 
Johnny G of Bulletworks. You three are also displaying on my console as unidentified units. I'm curious to know why that is. What the hell's going on? Is this another one of those reclaimer conflicts BG mentioned? You better explain what's going on. If you don't get out of Sky Union's territory, you're gonna be in big trouble, let me tell ya. Who are you? I don't know you. My lord brother, shall we start the mission? Mission? What? You wanna fight us for no good reason? My reasons need only satisfy me. But if you wish to retreat, I will leave my sword sheathed. Be on your way. Excuse me? We're not going anywhere. I don't care how tough you think you are. We've got a full three-unit squad here. Clearly, we have the advantage. Go on, skedaddle on out of here. I promise we won't shoot you in the back. Oh? I see some faint vestige of honor resides in you yet. While nobility dictates we cede the first move to you, we shall not disgrace ourselves by submitting to your request that we... Skedaddle. Uh, where'd that shot come from? Pleased to make your acquaintance, young man. I am Knight, faithful butler to House Valentine. A black arsenal? Johnny, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Just a little ding. Wait, this guy's your freaking butler? Are you messing with me? This is a battlefield! I'm well aware of our surroundings. As we now stand, three versus three, moderation is no longer required. Does this satisfy you, young master? Huh. Quite. If this is the same black arsenal that all those scary rumors are about, we might be in big trouble, actually. Yeah, it's supposed to be crazy tough. Just be cool, Johnny boy. Stay focused. What would BG do in this situation? The mission is still in effect. Eliminate the unidentified units at once. Just tell me one thing, Savior. What are you fighting for? I fight to fulfill my obligations as Patriarch of House Valentine. I don't expect you to understand. Nah, I get it. Sort of. What about you? Is it money? Fame, perhaps? I can't imagine you're willing to die for such things. Now stand down. Don't be stupid. We've got reasons to stand our ground. Me, Chill, even the rookie too. Now draw your sword, savior. Start the mission already. I too have my reasons for why I cannot leave. Abyss, Knight, assume your positions. Make ready to enforce justice.
too much damage. My klaxons are going off like crazy here. I'm sorry, rookie. I gotta withdraw. It's all up to you now. How is that black arsenal so strong? You're pretty sure I won't lose. But I can't see how I'm gonna win this. I dare say, Yogi. You possess all of the skill to push me to the front like this. Then lose already! <laughs> that simply will not do. I understand better than most at my venerable age that life does not cater to one's desires. The middle teacher of defeat will do wonders for you. Steal yourself, young lady. I think I need a cigarette and a Klondike bar after that one. I was so deep in it that I actually forgot that I had taken out both of his partners before I had gotten to him. So the entire time I was fighting him, I was looking out for them and, as well. <laughs> Don't tell me this is the first time you've ever lost. Just how sheltered were you? No. This isn't over. I can still fight. Hey, if you overwork your generator, it's gonna blow out. Look, Xavier, I know what you're going through right now. Sure, you lost. But like you said, you can still fight. Do not patronize me. You know the use of patronize and patronize tends to get mixed up even now I'm not sure I'm actually right the assumption would be that they know they would be far more uh, what's the word I'm looking for I don't know. Hey, I'm being sincere here. Ah, thorough. No, that's not it. Either way, I'm pretty sure patronize means to be a customer too. While patronizes, I'm pretty sure what he wanted to use. It's a really, English is hard. I know I'm nothing special. Every time I enter the battlefield, I'm scared out of my mind. I win some, I lose some, but in the end, I'm still alive. And you know, that's all right by me. I think I'm doing pretty well for myself, actually. Does this have a point? No, it's Johnny G. I, I don't know. Uh, at least you're still alive enough to show up on the next battlefield. Ah, oh, boy, that sounded a lot better in my head. I concur. I truly do not understand whatever point you're trying to impress upon me. Fine, whatever. I'm bad at this. Jeez, this sucks. 
By the courage of my convictions, did I come to this battlefield. I must ruminate on what transpired here today. Uh, oh. In time, I will repay this debt. May we meet again on the battlefield. You don't want that. The noble's mind is a strange place indeed. At least we completed the mission. Let's return with our heads held high. Yeah, we got a big payday coming our way. Mapping return sequence. Initiating. All units return according to instructions. Rookie, you should prepare for the worst. You may have finished the mission, but what happened here? Not a good sign. I'll make sure to report this to BG. Whatever's going on, I'm pretty sure it goes deep. I did not realize that one of my weapons was out of ammo. Ooh. All the goodies I yoinked. Gun arms sound good, in theory, but you have to think, you don't have any backup weapons, and once you're out of ammo, well, you're out of ammo. So even if you were one, to, who would use a sword as a backup in case of an ammo shortage? Yeah, so Mission well. briefing. Briefing will now commence. This is a private mission issued by Zen for you only. This is an experiment to measure arsenal performance, which largely depends on the abilities of the outer pilot. Each consortium's Arsenal Development Institute is developing new arsenal models. These new models have superior specs, yet the data clearly shows no difference in performance compared to older ones. This is affecting not just arsenal development, but engineer morale as well. By measuring outer aptitude and arsenal synchronicity, this experiment will greatly advance future arsenal development. This mission will be conducted at an orbital research facility. Depart for the research facility once you have finished preparing your arsenal. Briefing over. Approach complete. Generating the map provided by orbital of the experiment facility. Scanning battlefield. No observable femto particles. All systems normal. You may begin the mission. Well, it isn't the rookie. Guess you're here for the arsenal performance test too, huh? Pretty. Four. We're ready to start the mission. Well, we still haven't been told what we're supposed to do. This mission is a combat scenario between arsenals. Obviously. You will battle the specified enemy unit for the purpose of measuring performance data. What the frick is... Oh, it's a railgun. Call me crazy, no, but not. it kind of sounds like Maybe you want us is. to fight the rookie. That is correct, yes. What? You gotta be kidding me. Deva, let's ditch this mission. Finding the rookie? Yeah, I'm not really feeling that, are you? That's a very Zoa thing of you to say. I'm not crazy about the idea myself, but I'm not against it either. Devil? Have any of you talked to Savior oh, no. lately? Well, rookie, don't you want to know just how tough we really are? Again, have any of you talked to Savior Damn it. Why are you like this? Zoa, have you forgotten our goal? We gotta stick to the path we're on until we reach the truth. Besides, a friendly sparring match sounds like a good time. To me, at least. Deva! It's your call, rookie. Yours too, Zola. If either of you want to chicken out, feel free to cluck off. Okay, if you're gonna use foul language, I'm not going anywhere. Besides, we're a team. I've got your back no matter what. Now you're talking, Zoa. And since you're still here, rookie, I'm guessing this all sounds good to you, too? I can't leave. That's the spirit. Oh, before we start, I want to lay down some ground rules. What kind of ground rules? 
Just one. First one to get shot covers everyone's repairs. Don't hold back, Sola. Yeah, yeah. Now seems like a good time to fill you in. Me and Zoa, we're looking for the guy who killed our parents. Whoever did it was a mercenary, just like them. He got murdered during a mission, but it was covered up to look like an accident. Their arsenals are all we have left of them. But we know the killer's secret. Don't worry, we don't suspect you. Our folks died over 20 years ago. As we get more famous, we can use our platform to put the squeeze on the killer. They could come after us, like we did our parents. So everywhere we go, we bill ourselves as the Steel Knights. Heroes for hire. We make sure to prioritize missions that help those in need. Even if they barely pay anything. Orbital may resent us for it. It just makes us even more popular with the people. We've been acting like heroes for so long, we couldn't stop even if we wanted to. There's still a lot of refugees inside the open. Orphans, mostly. All the adults have long since died of phantom poison. We gotta crush the immortals so we can protect those kids. And the heroes to Rookie, I wanna see if you have what it takes to fight alongside us. Sorry to force this on you, but that's what happens when you hang around heroes like us. Alright, now small talk. Remember, Deva, don't hold back. Well said. Stay sharp, so I take it down together. I wasn't expecting that. Sorry, Deva. You just sit tight and watch me do my thing. Gotta say, I didn't think you'd break apart our tag team so easily. Now the fun really begins. Cease operations. Mission complete. The mission's objectives have been achieved. This concludes the test. What? We lost. Well, I didn't see that coming. We weren't pulling any punches either, that's for sure. Yeah, I can tell you we're going all out, too. Still, we're supposed to be heroes. How are we gonna explain this to the kids? Do we even need to explain anything? Let's just keep our mouths shut. This was a top-secret mission, after all. Uh, you sure you're okay with that? 
It seems a little, I don't know, dishonest. Oh, grow up, Zoa. Keeping this a secret from the kids isn't the same as lying to them. It's a small price to pay to protect their faith in heroes. I don't know. Maybe we're losing sight of what it really means to be heroes. Rookie, you seem more trustworthy than most. What are you fighting for? Catch up. There are no tomatoes. I'm sure right we'll up. partner up again somewhere down the road. But if we ever have to fight you again, do us a solid and go easy on us, huh? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you to grow up, Zoa? See you around, rookie. Initiating unit retrieval sequence. Excellent work. Get the other guy to die. Go down. Two achievements, Tactics Expert and Soul of Femto. Or Soul Full of Femto. Brought laser weapons to 50 missions. That's not true, but I'm not going to argue the point. Officially hit 30 minutes. We've technically passed it by what 30 something seconds, whatever the case may be. This video has come to its end. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I did my best to be, well, the best I could be in this particular video when it comes when it came to. Arsenal versus Arsenal combat. I hope you guys were able to appreciate that and I also hope that none of you suffer from motion sickness. I admit my looking around quickly with the camera could be kind of dizzying, but for me it was nothing. Then again, it's only at what, 20 something frames? Whatever. Regardless, As always, I'm going to be recording another video immediately following this one, but the thing about that is I'm going to be recording Killers of Eternity because, you know, I've been thinking about it and I've, I've really been wanting to play that again. And despite the fact that this channel is not growing in the slightest, If it ever does manage to grow, I want it to grow around the fact that I play whatever the frig I want to play. And what I want to play, among other things, is Pillars of Eternity. So I'm going to be going ahead and recording more of that. I've got plenty of back... well, no, I don't have plenty of backlog videos. I only have the one. So that's fine. I've got a ton of backlog videos of the journey to the top for Slay the Spire, but I don't really care about that right now. Another thing before we before I finally let you go, it's about 
it's more about what I want to play on the channel. I typically I used to play more PvP multiplayer centric games, but as of late I've lost the taste for it and I don't exactly know why, though I have a sneaking suspicion that I don't want to dedicate myself fully to it. Where with with single player games I can as I do watch YouTube videos on my laptop here to my left, have my headphones plugged into that and listen to the videos while I play whatever game or farm or grind, whatever the case may be. So I'm that much more ahead for the next video, but for, for multiplayer games, it, the issue is more that I need to actually buckle down, headphones in, sound whoring to the extreme, well to the max. Sound horn to the max, all eyes on the game, no distractions whatsoever, and that just doesn't appeal to me right now. Maybe, maybe it will when the channel grows, or, or if I find some other people to play with. But that's, well, that's a dream. So I'm trying to focus on the reality here and the simple fact of the matter is I don't want to play multiplayer games, but I do at the same time. The biggest issue out of all of, out of any that it could possibly be for me is that I don't have a very good computer for playing multiplayer games. So I suffer from low fr low frame a low frame rate, jeez, I don't know why it was so hard to say. I s tend to suffer from low frame rate. I end up usually playing at between, between, well, let's just be generous and say 10 to 20 frames a second. That's not good. And that has a serious effect on response time between hearing a shot, getting shot, and responding to the direction from which you are being shot. Now, the hearing part, it, the hearing part will be on time, but the response, the reaction, that will all be seriously affected by a low frame rate, no matter how quickly I try to react. And, I mean, yeah, I could turn down the settings, but at what point does it just not become worth it? I mean, in turning down the settings, you end up essentially looking at blotches on a canvas, right? It's unappealing, it's borderline disgusting, really. And if I have to play that way, I'm just not going to. That's not to say that there aren't games where I could play with a decent frame rate, but then you have to add on top of that recording with OBS, which is going to consume system resources in order to do its job, therefore reducing the resources necessary for the game to run at its best. Of course, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I, I doubt it. I put a lot of thought into this excuse, and it, as much as it sucks, it sounds good. But I've been on this tangent for far too long, and those of you still with me are probably nodding, to, nodding off as it is. So, with all that said, Despite everything else, we will see you next time. See me for